right, before we begin evaluating the different modes on the ESO display, I'm going to go ahead and turn off a couple features so that way I can more quickly get through evaluating the performance of this display and the user modes that it has. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my settings and I'm going to unselect black and unselect color checker SG which is an expanded set of the color checker classic so that I'm taking fewer measurements. I'm going to minimize the settings control panel and click the read series button. It's going to take a couple of readings here of the white point and the primaries and secondaries. As you can see, this is a very, very wide gamut uh, display, and the mode I have selected is not the one I want to use. The one I want to use is this Rec 709 color space. So I'm going to go ahead into the menu system and select a different mode. Let's see how Adobe RGB works out. Take another series readings. I notice that my white point is a little bit off, so already I'm starting to think that my display may need calibration. But let's go ahead and just measure a couple other points to see how we're doing. Looking at the green, blue, and red primaries, I can see that this actually comes pretty close to the user mode. Let's see if there's another mode that's a little closer, and if not, we may end up going with this one. Let's try the Rec. 709 standard. Do another series read. And looking at these charts and graphs, I can see that this is also very close to the previous mode. Um, it's much closer than the first mode we originally took measurements of, but my white point's off, and I have a red light here for max delta error, so this display is going to need some calibration.